There's so much at stake for the Dockers and they've wasted no time in getting Adam McPhee back in the lineup. He hasn't played since round eight because of a knee injury. Michael Barlow, Kepler Bradley and Clancy Pearce are the others to be brought back into Fremantle's 25-man squad. Josh Mellington's axed after two games and there is also some doubt on Chris Main. Tim Hipsley's kept an eye on the Dockers today and Tim, some good old-fashioned cloak and dagger stuff. Yes, goals free. I've kept their cards close to their chest all week, keeping their tactics under wraps. Mark Harvey did say they'd be training at the Wacker at some stage this week, but was very careful in not telling us what day and what time. However, we were there to catch the players as they came through the gates just after one o'clock today. They were a little surprised to see us, but that's as far as the cameras were allowed. We did put in request to film the session. That was knocked on the head. We are even denied access to their warm-up. Just to jog around the oval, they said no. But the 10 News chopper did get a glimpse of a small group of players out in the middle. Still, the Dockers not giving too much away. You get the feeling this game means a fair bit to the club. I can tell you Adam McPhee was there and ticked all the right boxes. Nick Subban will have to wait another week. Now, training at a different ground isn't anything new in footy, but the Wacker does have similar dimensions to the SCG. The Dockers did this last year and they ended up breaking a nine-game losing streak at the ground, so they're sticking with a winning formula. A win on Sunday, they'll stay inside the top eight, lose, and their finals chances gets harder and harder into the business end of the season. Plenty of intrigue, so much at stake. Goss, it's back to you.